Hi Libra, this is your monthly June tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my monthly readings. Well, I have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business, and your finances. And that uh, will get you an advice for the whole month of June. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is on new love in June. We have the Page of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands, clarified by the Tower. We have the Queen of Swords. In the potential outcome, we have the Lovers with the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. And then we also have the Devil on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Gemini, or a Capricorn. Well, Libra, I hope you're ready. This person is going to rock your world, uh, this person is going to shake the foundation of your um, life, I guess, but in a positive way. In the beginning, this is going to be based purely on uh, physical attraction. Just that, but uh, you're going to enjoy it, you're going to enjoy it a lot, but the potential is amazing. You guys can take it all away with this person, right? Yes, you can. So anyway, look at this. We've got the devil on the bottom of the deck. It could be a Capricorn you're dealing with, but the devil in this case is a card of temptation. It's a card of lust. It's a card of desire. It's a card of getting physical, if you know what I mean. And uh, in the beginning of the spread, we have uh, the Page of Wands with the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the Tower. It could be a Fire Sign, Aries, or Sagittarius, or it could be whatever this connection is in the beginning or whatever their zodiac sign is, in the beginning it's going to be pure, raw passion. Okay? <laughs> and it's going to happen really unexpectedly. Perhaps you've never experienced anything like that, because the, you, the, this person is going to rock your world with the tower card. Something very unexpected. What's, what's falling apart in the tower card in this case is uh, perhaps you never thought you could uh, experience something like that. You never never even imagined that something like that could happen to you. Something like something that will just shake your shake the foundation of your belief system to the core, right? In a positive way. So all these ones here, it could be a fire sign here is there Sagittarius, but it, it could also be all about passion. It could be a fire sign um, whom you will have a lot of uh, time spent one-on-one -on -one behind closed doors. Because the Ace of Wands is all about passion, the Knight of Wands is all about passion, the Page of Wands is all about flirt, it's all about, uh, you know, cracking jokes, it's all about being casual, if you know what I mean. Right? And I'm not judging you, you know, it's just what I see here. We have you in the spread as well, the Queen of Swords in the middle, that is you. Um, Libra, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. In the potential outcome, things are, could potentially get serious between the two of you. We have the lovers with the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. I really like that Four of Wands there because this is also a fire sign indicator. And the Four of Wands is uh, one of the commitment and marriage cards. Some people call it the 1111 card. To me personally, the Four of Wands always reminds me of, uh, of a wedding. Because in some cultures, when people get married, they do it underneath the structure with the leaves and branches on top of it. And the, the structure pictured in the four of ones always reminds me of that. But ultimately, it is one of the commitment and marriage cards. We, have, we also have the lovers. The lovers is the personal Gemini card. You could be dealing with a Gemini. But uh, the lovers could be the lovers. You know, in the beginning, the two of you are definitely the lovers. <laughs> Um, but uh, the Lovers is also a card of a soulmate connection. It's a, it's a card of a twin flame connection, if you believe in twin flames. And the Lovers could simply be the love of your life, you know. But in my opinion, the Lovers is uh, the best card in the tarot deck when it comes to a love connection between two people. So whereas in the beginning it's primarily passion, it's all about going places, getting all excited, getting all spontaneous and enthusiastic, you know, let's just play it by ear, let we have a lot of time, a lot of great time together. In the future, potentially the two of you can definitely take it to the next level, right? Um, the Ace of Pentacles in the middle is a card of a proposal, you know, so it's, it's the second Ace in the, the same spread. Two Aces is a lot, if you ask me, right? So, whereas the Ace of Wands is primarily passion, the Ace of Pentacles is a serious proposal, right? This card always comes from somebody who is ready to settle down, ready to start a family, ready to get serious, and like I said, the, that Four of Wands 
the last card that came out is a confirmation of that. All right, and that major icon of the lovers in there, it's a great card to have. So I think you can definitely take it all away with this person, you know, because at some point you'll figure, you know, we have so much amazing, awesome, passionate time together, we click on so many different levels, so why not take it to the next level? Why not uh, take it all away? I don't know how long it's going to take you, but um, Libra, you can definitely get there. You know, by the end of summer, you can definitely, the two of you can definitely realize that, uh, you know, the two of you actually belong together, and um, I think it will kind of, it will unfold, unfold naturally, you know, because this is like smooth sailing because there isn't really any really fast moving energies here there isn't any it's gonna be a slow progress but you'll get there it will unfold naturally like I said at some point the two of you will definitely want to take it to the next level because uh, as the two of you have so much time together you will realize that you even finish each other's sentences you match on so many levels and it's just it's just a fantastic connection all right, I'm not going to do an extended for you, because uh, with cards like that and the potential, I think it's up to you guys, but you can definitely make it happen. All right, really happy for you. Congratulations. Libra, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Queen of Swords, we have the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Pentacles, clarified by Justice, and we also have the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You know what, Libra, this is about money. This is about money coming in. I'll still do the uh, work business and finances spread separately, but for those of you who are in a relationship or married, um, this is a lot of money coming in, <laughs> plain and simple. Probably um, in your work business and finances field. I mean, if you run your own business, it will be doing great. If um, you work for another company, perhaps you're getting promoted or you're getting a bonus or if... Uh, you know, if you started working for a startup a, a while ago, perhaps you're finally getting vested in. Um, it could be a race, anything. I do see financial abundance here, right? The Queen of Swords, the first card I came out, that is your card, Libra. The Nine of Pentacles right next to the deck is clarified by Justice, and Justice is also your card, Libra. Right? And the Nine of Pentacles in this case is a card of somebody who is doing really we're very well financially. The Knight of Pentacles in the middle, this is money coming in. A lot of money, a pile of money. Hundred dollar, hundred pound, hundred euro bills. Whatever your currency is. <laughs> and uh, the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of a workplace environment or a business place environment. You know, this is a card of collaboration. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You got money coming in, alright? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Libra, in June. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent X. Um, we have the King of Cups, clarified by the Eight of Wands. We have Justice. We have the Nine of Cups, clarified by the Star. And we also have the Two of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or an Aquarius, or perhaps both of them. Right? So the King of Cups, the first card that came out, it could be a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. They're going to be reaching out to you. The Eight of Wands clarifying that King of Cups is a card of communication or a card of travel. Right? And then we have Justice in the middle. That is your personal card, Libra, and it's always a good sign to have your own card in your own reading. Right? That means you're the one in charge, you're the one calling the shots. Um, the Two of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, this is you trying to make a decision, trying to make your, up your mind about um, this person. Um, here's, here's a hint. <laughs> Perhaps this can help you. There is two wish come true, wish granted cards in the tarot deck. And both of them are on the table. As a matter of fact, one is clarifying the other. The Nine of Cups is the first one and the star is the second one and those two cards came out last so perhaps there is a message there for you <laughs> Libra I'm not trying to convince you in either direction but uh, two wish come true cards one clarifying the other and uh, they came out last perhaps like I said there is a message for you there <laughs> okay um, 
going to be up to you what you want to do here, Libra, but um, you're definitely the one in charge of this uh, decision. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Libra in June. We have the Page of Cups, we have the Queen of Pentacles, uh, we have uh, the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Ace of Swords, and uh, we also have the Five of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Uh, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this Queen of Pentacles is going to reach out to you, and this person will offer to grab a cup of coffee together, or grab uh, a refreshment after work together. Right, and um, when the two of you get together for that uh, cup of coffee, oh, they're gonna make you such a big offer. I don't know if you're gonna be able to refuse it, especially if you are, if you feel like you could use some extra cash right now. Right. So speaking of you needing to use some extra cash, the Five of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, this is a card of. When it comes to work, business, and finances, this is a card of somebody who is unemployed or somebody who could use some extra cash, right? <laughs> and uh, here comes uh, the Page of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles. The Page of Cups is that offer invitation to uh, go grab that refreshment after work or at some point uh, during the day, right? And the Queen of Pentacles is the one who is... Uh, reaching out to you. It could be an Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn, but when it comes to work, business, and finances, the Queen of Pentacles is someone who is in charge of pentacles, <laughs> right? A hiring manager, an investment opportunity person for you, a business person, entrepreneur, um, anybody. So that's the person. It could be a recruiter, anybody, right? And, and when the two of you get together, uh, that's when uh, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords happen. The Ace of Swords is a conversation, very straightforward, very direct. They're not going to be playing around. Everything this person says is real, it's true. And the Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity card. You know, it could be a new job, it could be a promotion, right? It could be an investment opportunity, whatever. This is crazy good, Libra. This is so good, it's not even funny. One ace clarifying another ace, that's really good. <laughs> Alright, so I think you should take this uh, opportunity on. I think you should accept it. Because that will definitely, um, you know, increase your financial inflow. Okay? So this looks good. So if you are ever invited to, to meet somebody in June, I think you should attend that meeting. Alright? Cool. Here's the advice or word of wisdom for you, uh, Libra, for the whole month of uh, June. Uh, we have the Queen of Wands, we have the Three of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Swords, we have the Six of Cups, and we also have the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You're the King of Swords in the spread, Libra. Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And um, this Queen of Wands, the first card I came out, is the person from your past, and they're going to be reaching out to you, and they want to talk to you about something. Um, the Queen of Wands could be a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, the Six of Cups right next to the deck, this is a card of somebody from the past. Right, and the, the Three of Wands with the Ace of Swords, this is uh, what they want to talk to you about. The thing about the Three of Wands is, uh, this is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision. Um, that could be about anything. You will know what the... Once this person reaches out to you, you will know what they want to talk to you about, uh, right? And the Ace of Swords, I find that the Ace of Swords is that conversation. It could be um, the answer. I don't know, if you asked them a question a couple of months ago, perhaps they're finally ready for something. Because the Ace of Swords often comes through as the word yes, right? And they completely made up their mind about something, about that, whatever you had going on. And uh, the answer is yes. The Ace of Swords is also a card of a new beginning, so perhaps if you offer it some kind of a new beginning for this person, they will agree. Um, but uh, yeah, whatever they say is the truth. I don't see it as being anything bad or negative. I'm not feeling it. It's just that this person could be... If they did you wrong in the past, they may tell you the truth, why they did what they did. Right? And perhaps they want to make things right with you. But uh, a conversation from the Queen of Wands uh, is what's coming up. And since this is the, an advice spread, um, at least listen to what they have to say. Don't turn your back on them. Listen to what they have to say. And then make your decision based on, you know, based on what they say. All right, so yeah, that's what I got for you, Libra. 
uh, for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Libra, have an amazing June. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.